guys welcome to the channel i'm paul from fluka ferry today i'll be talking about our folder structure for our taxi app so earlier i talked about we are going to be using two state management for this app so we can actually learn a lot from it so at it we are going to create different folder structure pertaining to the different state management we are going to be using so for block i have created a branch here develop block so everything in this uh, branch is going to be dealing on blocks alone so i'm going to set up the folder structure i'll be using for this project for the block pattern project and for the provider i'm going to do that in our next video but for this i'm going to work on the block pattern folder structure so first i'm going to explain some folders here that we might want to edit in the future like example is the android folder and it contains configuration for your um, android platform applications you can update delete some files or whatever it may be and it will affect your um, android platform and for the ios it's for the ios platform to update set some configurations for ios and for the lib is where all our dart code lies and for the test is where we test our dart code and for the git ignore you see here uh, we can opt out some files we don't want to push them to our repository on github and for the pop spec the yaml file here is where we add our dependencies we add assets and fonts it may be and 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 the rest of it we can add dev dependencies if we want so that's what we do in the prospect.yml in our previous video we were able to add this two package because we set up firebase we we connected firebase to this particular um, project which we have done that for both android and ios so if you have not watched that you can check out the, the card here and you you can go back there and watch the video so let's begin so here i'm going to add a new folder I'm going to call it asset asset is responsible for getting our, our assets for example our example assets are our, our image our font our svg images or icons or, or anything it may be but it's an asset so i'm going to call it assets I'm going to give it the name assets and we have given it the name and the next thing is that will go in there is images as a folder and also what else will go in there will be icons fonts so all our fonts is going to go in there we are going to use in our application and our icons here and our images and the next we are, we are going to update is our lib folder so here is where it becomes really really important so the 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 way you structure your project in a lib folder that's where it it will help you to maintain your code to scale your code and also maybe you want to add more features to your code you don't have to go through the stress of not knowing where to update and where to add your codes so here is where we are going to add the main folder structure and and also to structure it in a way that when next we come to our project to either update our code we don't get confused so in in our lib folder here we are going to have some some folders here that we are going to use within our app so the first is we're going to have a model so we're going to have a model and we're going to call it models so the models is is meant to 
deserialize some data that we might call and get from the the internet from an internet request then we deserialize it to our models then we use it within our app so you probably know what models are kind of a blueprint to a an object so so that's it for models so the next we are going to talk about it's it's uh services so services is responsible for actually working on most of the services we will be using in our app maybe the navigation services so the navigation we'll be using in our app we might create a separate navigation service that we will be using in our app and also we might want the authentication service and provided by firebase so yes we will add it and we might want the we might want maybe the map service so here it will come and we might have some other services that we want in our app so yes we are to come so the the next we are going to talk about is the repositories repositories so in the repositories folder this is where it communicates to the services get data from the services this actually sends a lot of um, network requests to our database but it can also get data from the services and also can deserialize data to our models then our app can use it in our in our project so here in the repositories is where fires data is in and in our repository, we will mostly be using a singleton classes so we can manage it very well. The next we are going to add is our, is our pages. We're going to call it pages. So here is where our pages, our app pages will go in. So we have our, maybe our own page, our profile page and on and in our pages folder that is where we have our blog classes so maybe we have an home page here and also we have a profile page a profile page and in our own folder we might have a file called home.gat and also in our food home we might have a blog called home and we save that as we open it, we'll see the block, and that's how our project is going to look like. So that's how it's going to look like. So I'm going to delete both of these and move that to trash. Cool. And the next we are going to have is our UI. So the UI is where we add some UI elements to our project. Maybe we have a button that we are going to keep using in our project and we would like to be reusing it so here is where our, our search element search ui element goes in and also we might need want a text field or a kind of a card that we want to use within our app so we don't have to always create them and that's it so and also what can also goes into this ui is our theme so we might want our team to be dynamic maybe we want some changes to them or we want it to be the static kind of theme it doesn't change and here it's where it goes so the next we are going to have is utils so i'm going to call it utils so utils is where all our our app our app utilities things will be using like the images assets we might have something like this images images assets dot that now here is where our images and um, class is going to be uh, we are going to get the images from the assets then store it here then we can easily access it within our project so that's it i'm going to remove this for now we don't need it I'm going to get rid of this 
and think that's all so that's all for structuring this project i don't want it to be more complex than it is now so i hope you understand and as time goes on you're going to understand this and you can actually do it on your own as well so if you think what i'm doing is kind of odd or there's kind of a thing you, you, you we, we might face in the future please leave it in the comment section there and also if you like this video and you like what you've seen you can subscribe to the channel and also share to your friends and loved ones and see you on the next video thank you